Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I am so excited that you guys are here and I hope that you are having an absolutely fantastic morning, afternoon, or night, whatever it is for you when this video finally reaches you. For today's video, you guys, we're going to be diving into something that just gives me the heebie-jeebies. One of you actually sent in this particular ritual, which is the dark music ritual, and asked what I thought about it. And after reading through it, I had so many thoughts regarding this game where you can supposedly dance to the devil's music or dance with the devil, so to speak. Even though there's no dancing involved, I'll explain why people refer to it as that later on in the video, but it is absolutely chilling. So we're going to dive into what this game slash ritual is, why it's one of the most dangerous in the world, and my particular theories on it. But before we get into today's video, I would just very quickly like to thank today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. You can explore new skills, develop existing interests, and just get completely lost in creativity. This might seem so random to you guys because in the past I've told you guys some of my favorite classes have been on podcasting or creative skills, creative writing, etc. But lately I have been so into the class Knife Skills, a mini class to chop like a chef by Elena Karp. Now, I've been really diving into my cooking and culinary skills as of lately. Spoiler alert, they're pretty well non-existent, but I'm learning and so I wanted to learn how to chop like a chef now that I've gotten some pretty big knives that would otherwise be dangerous in my hands. Whether you're looking to fend off boredom, focus on self-care through creativity, or join a similar creative community, Skillshare is the place to keep you engaged and learning. No matter what it is that you want to learn about, I can guarantee that Skillshare has a class for you, and I want to let you guys know that the first 1,000 people to click the link down in my description will receive a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership, and then after that, it's just around $10 a month. So make Make sure that you are among the first thousand people. Click that link down below and get creative with Skillshare. So thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. And with that being said, let's get into something a lot darker than uh, expanding our culinary skills. All right, so this is actually deemed one of the most dangerous paranormal games and it's called the Dark Music Ritual. Now, uh, you guys, I always say this, all of these games, a lot of them are deemed the most dangerous because any time that you're invoking or dabbling in the paranormal realms by either rituals or games and you may not know what you're doing, you may not complete the steps properly or you think it's just a game and you mess around with it, there's always a risk with that. I do want to give a disclaimer at the beginning of this because I think there's been a little misconception here on my channel. I'm not saying that each and every person who tries said rituals is going to have a negative experience or even an experience at all. But I will say that I have met plenty of you who have played paranormal games, even just played the Ouija board, and have had negative experiences. And I, as you guys know when I was younger, had a pretty terrifying experience with my friends and the Ouija board. So just be careful anytime you go knocking on the door of the paranormal, whether it's through a game, a ritual, a summoning, whatever it is, because you just never know the experience you're going to have. And when you go knocking, you don't always get to choose when they answer that door. But with that being said, let's dive into what this ritual is. Now, I was intrigued immediately when I read the dark music ritual. I was very curious to see because as we've dove into before, there are plenty of people who, when they want to go into different industries, the music industry being one of them, they will occasionally perform rituals to, in essence, sell their souls for fame and fortune, all of that. We've dove into that in previous videos on my channel. We're not going to get into that here. But that's one of the reasons that it really intrigued me. I was curious to see what the purpose of this ritual is. So let me scroll down. Right away it says that there's many variations of this, which is true with most paranormal games. Like when you look at something like Bloody Mary, there's different variations of it. Different people from different regions played it differently, but the overall premise is the same. 
So it says, play at your own risk. You only need one player, which is yourself, and the requirements are a sheltered location with a door, a musical instrument, something small and portable is ideal. Think a guitar or a flute rather than a grand piano. A pin, a cup of salt water, a container of salt, a sheet of paper, a pencil, a camera, that requirement is optional, and a hiding place, which is not optional. Begin at night, turn off all the lights. Place the musical instrument in front of the door. If using the camera, place it in such that it may capture the instrument while recording. This is your concert setup. Do not stand between the instrument and the door. Do not otherwise block the instrument from the door. With the pin, prick the part of your body that is typically used to play your chosen instrument. Then deposit a drop of blood on the area of the instrument that part of your body would touch in order to play. For example, if you chose a guitar, prick your finger, then deposit a drop of blood on the strings along the fretboard. Now I wanna stop it right there. I've said this in the past, if you're looking into playing a paranormal game, I would highly recommend steering clear from the ones where you either give your blood as a sacrifice or you offer up your blood. Look into that, but for me that takes it from just a game or a ritual to something a lot more serious. And if you guys want me to do a video on offerings of that nature, so to speak, I can definitely do that in another video. Using your pencil, write a brief message on the sheet of paper asking the spirit to play you a song. The wording is up to you. However, it is recommended that you be respectful and kind. It is not recommended that you demand the spirit to play. No one likes being ordered about. This is true for most paranormal games. I will say 100% that if you are gonna play, be respectful. And this goes even into investigations. Be respectful. I personally, when I go into investigations, like paranormal investigations, I never demand or order for it to prove itself to me. But that's just my personal preference. I don't recommend it. Place the note beside the instrument. If using a camera, begin recording. Draw a line of salt between you and your concert setup. Go to your hiding place. Take the salt and the cup of salt water with you. You should not be able to see the musical instrument from here. Sit, be still, be silent, listen, enjoy the music. If the music draws to a natural close, leave your hiding place, take the salt water with you. Go to the line of salt between you and the concert setup. If it is broken, do not proceed. Instead, go to step one of if any of the following occur. If the instrument is broken, do not proceed. Instead, go to step one of if any of the following occur. If the salt line and the instrument are both intact, you may proceed. Using both hands, put a break in the line of salt. Go to the musical instrument. Do not stand between the instrument and the door. Do not otherwise block the instrument from the door. Pick up the piece of paper with the message on it, folded three times, and place the folded message in the cup of salt water. Place the cup of salt water next to the instrument where the message previously sat. Thank the spirit for its performance. Use the salt water to wash the blood from the instrument. If using the camera, stop recording. Finish the night however you see fit. It's recommended you stay quiet and do not play any further music. You may choose to simply go to sleep. If any of the following should occur, the music comes to a sudden halt. The music begins to play out of tune or time. A loud noise sounds from elsewhere in the house. The salt line is broken or the instrument is broken. As fast as you can, leave your hiding place and go to the instrument. Take the salt water with you. Splash some of the salt water on the floor between the instrument and the door. Do not use all of the salt water. Do not stand between the instrument and the door. Do not otherwise block the instrument from the door. The countdown begins now. You have 15 seconds. Guys, I, I don't know what it is. I used to make fun of people in horror films. Not make fun of them, but I'd be like, come on. When they're running from the guy and they get like leeway from him, they get further from him and they get to their car door and they can't, you know, open the door. That's a real thing. Like when you have a time frame and you're scared, you fumble about. Well, most people do, unless you're cool, calm, and collected, good for you. But I fumble about and I, I just know if I had 15 seconds to redeem myself, I'd probably mess it up. But anyways, pick up the message, tear it into five pieces. Crumple each piece and drop it in the remaining salt water. Make sure each piece is thoroughly wet. Check your countdown. You have 12 seconds. Ask the spirit for forgiveness. Ask the spirit for forgiveness. Ask the spirit for forgiveness. Check your countdown. You have 10 seconds. 
after you've asked the spirit for forgiveness three times, pick up the instrument, play the instrument. Do not show off. Do not attempt to play what the spirit played. Keep it simple and clean. Play for 10 seconds. Your countdown is up. If you've completed all three of these tasks, destroying the message, asking for forgiveness, and playing the instrument for 10 seconds, you may proceed. If you have not completed all three of these tasks, destroying the message, asking for forgiveness, playing the instrument for 10 seconds, you may not proceed, or perhaps more accurately, you will be in no condition to proceed. Put down the instrument, turn on the lights, be still, silent, wait. After an hour has passed, make a new cup of salt water and wash the blood from the instrument. Do not play music in this location again. And that is how you play. It says that the different variants, some, some of them ask you to play at a specific time. Um, or you must be in your hiding place before midnight. Some versions require a hawk feather and ink. Some versions do not include the salt line, but it's not recommended that you play or perform that version. The salt line is your safe space and it would be foolish to play without it. Some, visual, some versions of the ritual require an audio recorder and headphones. Some versions instruct you to leave sheet music along with the message. Um, and some versions of the ritual require not just a place to hide, but a thing in which to hide. A dark color blanket is often, rec often recommended. So there's a ton of different versions of this, but the outcome is the same. You, in essence, offer your blood up and expect a spirit or entity to play your instrument. And it says, concerning the camera, if you performed the first, you may watch the recording at your leisure. If you perform the second, it's recommended you do not watch the recording and that you destroy it. So if it goes well, you can watch the recording. If it doesn't go well and you gotta redeem yourself in those 13 seconds, don't watch it. No matter which one you performed, do not upload the video to the internet. The spirit doesn't take kindly to those who try to profit off of its private performances. So that is basically how you play the dark music ritual. I don't know what it is about this. It's very unsettling to me for many reasons, some of which we've touched on in previous videos, but the main reason that this really freaks me out is offering up your blood on an instrument that you frequently play and asking a spirit or entity or whatever comes forth, because you don't specify, to play said instrument. I, I don't know why, but I just really feel like this isn't a ritual that should be played, but I would love to know your guys' thoughts and opinions on this. To me, it almost seems like you're summoning something to show its talents to you. And I don't know about you, like I was saying, if I had 10 seconds to play something without showing off, without doing what they did, I'd probably freeze. But I would love to know if you guys have heard of this ritual. Do you know anybody who's played it? What are your thoughts and opinions on it? What do you think you're summoning? Do you think it's just a spirit? Do you think it's the devil? Do you think it's an entity? What do you think? Some people have said that you'll hear the devil's music and in essence be dancing with the devil for the rest of your life. But I would love to know in the comments below. Once again, I would just love to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. As I mentioned earlier, the first 1,000 people to click the link down in my description will receive a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. And then after that, it's just $10 a month. So make sure you guys click that link down below. And thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring. I love you guys. With that being said, that is it for today's video. If you guys are new to my channel or you are just not yet subscribed but you do enjoy my videos, I would seriously love it more than you'll ever know if you would go ahead and click that subscribe button. And please give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Remember, loves, do all things with kindness. And until next time, I love you.